Now, as I said before, there are several lines of evidence that point to the same thing. If you want an evidence or a demonstration that God exists, how about this? When I teach this class at Biola, I spend 17 hours covering this material. I could lock the doors and force you to stay here for 17 hours until we talk about all this, but I'm not going to do that. Therefore, there is a God. Okay, so I've already proved it, <laughs> so I don't know why I even continue. What I want to do is just cover a couple of things that are in this list, because I think they're interesting. For example, the evidence that I thought was compelling were a couple of lines that I thought were really interesting. One is from an astrophysicist who is not a believer, who is named uh, Robert Jastrow. He's been dead for a little while now. He was the director of the Goddard Institute, and he talked about an important line of evidence that's simply known as the second law of thermodynamics. Now, look, I know we didn't come in here tonight to talk about science, okay? Tough. We're talking about science, all right? Because this second law of thermodynamics actually is important to us. And what it really means, and I'll read it to you, is while the quantity of energy within a closed, isolated system, like the universe, remains the same, the amount of usable energy deteriorates gradually over time. In other words, the usable energy is irretrievably lost. It's lost. And as it is lost, increase of disorganization and randomness occurs. Chaos increases. You already kind of know this because you've experienced different simple demonstrations of the second law in your own lives. You see that things don't move from disorder to order. Things move from order to disorder. Things don't become newer and have more energy over time. In fact, just the opposite occurs. Things age and decay over time. And you see this over and over again. Right? If you have any doubts, go home and look at your bedroom. This will prove it to you right away. I mean, I've got, you, it, everything does this. The fact that we have death, why do you think we don't live forever? We don't live forever because of the second law of thermodynamics. We're not eternal beings. Everything has a shelf life. Let's put this down. How does this help us to demonstrate that the universe has a beginning? Well, let me ask you this. If you came in here tonight and you were the first person to walk in the room, there's nobody else here. You're the only person. It's dead quiet. Yet in the middle of the room, there's a little wind-up police car running around in circles. What's the first thing you're going to look for? Who wound it, right? Because you know this thing has not, does not have endless energy. This thing is un, it's slowing down. It's unwinding in front of your very eyes. But that means if it's unwinding, you can go backwards into a time in which there was a, a point at which it was tightly wound. The fact that the car is running out of energy in front of you demonstrates that that energy had a beginning. Make sense? Well, we're in a wind-up universe that is winding down in front of our eyes, which means if you run it in reverse, we know it's got a beginning in which it was tightly wound. Does that make sense? It's the simplest illustration I can possibly give you for this.